It's news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Cameroonian separatists invade Nigeria, kill traditional ruler Bon Village. Suspected Ambazonia separatists from Cameroon have invaded Takum local government area of Taraba State, wrecking havoc and causing unrest. Politics Nigeria has learned. According to the Senate Deputy Minority Leader Emmanuel Buaka, the suspect killed a traditional ruler and some residents of Manga community, and the lawmaker reviewed during plenary on Wednesday that the separatists also bombed down the village. Manga village is 20 kilometers away from Kanshim Benyala Dam, and he said, I rise this morning to draw the attention of our countrymen and particularly our security agents to this unfortunate incident which undermines our integrity and sovereignty as a nation. Takum, local government houses, the 23 Battalion of the Nigerian Army. And so, Mr. President, it is my humble submission that the Nigerian Army should rise to the challenge and curb this wanton territorial expansion. Their separative, separatist motive is yet unknown, whether they want to expand territory or lay claim for Southeast Cameroonian is not yet clear. Also, agents of an Igbo person as president of Nigeria in the 2023 elections, the association of Ariwa community in Igbo land has flooded the southeast with posters of eminent businessman and chief whip of the Senate, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, to run for president of Nigeria come 2023. The posters, sponsored by the group, were pasted in strategic places in Umuaya, Enugun, Oka, Uwiri, and Abakaliki. Its national president, Alhaji Mohamed Umaru, who earlier made appeal at a news briefing in Umaya, described the people of Igbo as accommodating. Umaru harped on the unity of the country and stated that it was important to support the Igbo people actualize their presidential ambition come 2023. According to him, the group is a non-political organization made up of members from the uh, northern states living in the southeast zone, geopolitical police, and the northwest south south have all ruled the nation as a executive president. This is the time we should give our consent for an executive president. Our people should give the benefit of doubt to lead the country in the next political dispensation, and if they perform well, we can allow them a second chance. And this is the news about the. Uh, uh, the Awusas, that is the Ariwa community living in the southeast, who are pushing for uh, the Senator Oji Kalu, uh, Uso Kalu to run for president of Nigeria come 2023. As we know that there has been an agitation that the South uh, East should actually be given the opportunity to be the executive president of the country. And therefore, the national president of this group, uh, Alhaji Mohamed Umaru has said that the Igbo people are accommodating and therefore it is necessary for unity of the country to support the actualization of the presidential ambition of a Hebrew person come 2023 presidential election. Meanwhile, to ex-president Goodluck Ibili Jonathan saying that the economy was better under his watch. The Nigerian economy fared better under President Goodluck Ibili Jonathan, Akwa Ibom governor, Mr. Udom Emmanuel has actually declared. The governor stated this on Thursday at Government House, Uyo, while speaking at a special luncheon in honor of the former president, who was in the state for the annual conference of the Nigeria Environmental Society at the marriage ceremony of the first daughter of his longtime friend and fellow pioneer student of the University of Port Harcourt, Professor Richard King. According to Governor Emmanuel, who was reflecting on the days of Woodlock Jonathan, as president of Nigeria, in all indices, was better and expressed regret that Nigerians have only come to realize what they have lost after his exit. This he referred as medicine after death. I made a speech the other day. You know, I like talking that data. I analyzed the growth, the GDP, the exchange rate. By the time I finished the analysis, it was so clear that we did much better and today, Everybody, every eyes have seen the economy has been debased, and that is why I say we feel proud of you anywhere we go to. Welcoming the guests, Governor Emmanuel expressed great pleasure of the visit of the former president, describing him as the pride of the country. The governor also seized the opportunity to thank the former president 
and his wife for identifying with him and his family during his father's funeral, describing him as a great leader, a father, and a brother. Speaking uh, earlier at the special luncheon upon his reception, the former president Jonathan commended the peace of development in Oka, uh, Akwa Ibom State, under the leadership of the governor Udom Emmanuel. Emmanuel uh, Jonathan, who was accompanied by his wife, Patience Jonathan, described the president, uh, the governor, as a brilliant, competent gentleman that deserves to be encouraged for greater roles in the nearest future. He stressed that he, given his acquaintance with the progress of Akwa since 1994, is in a good position to judge the development of the state. In his words, you are a gentleman, very competent person, I, a brilliant young man that needs to be encouraged, and I believe he will continue to grow, he stated. From what we read and from what we see, you are doing very well. If you come into Akwa Ibom, you see a state that is growing. From 1994, when I was employed as the Assistant Director of Environmental Operation on Pade till I left office, there was no year I didn't come to Akwa Ibom, uh, Akwa Ibom so I can monitor the development of Akwa Ibom, and I'm pleased with the way the state is actually going on now. He prayed for Governor Emmanuel to have a good successor who will follow his good steps and continue to lead the state towards greater heights. And this is uh, the former president of the country, uh, former president of the country, that is good luck, Ibele Jonathan, who has been commended by Governor Emmanuel, uh, in, uh, Governor Emmanuel of Akwaibom State, uh, who actually organized a special launch in, in honor of the former president uh, for the annual conference of the Nigeria Environmental Society and the marriage ceremony of the first daughter of his longtime friend and fellow pioneer student of the University of Port Harcourt, Professor Richard King. And, um, you know, after he welcomed the guest, uh, he, during his speech, he actually said that uh, as he is known to be somebody who talks out of uh, evidences that bothers on data, and, uh, you know, after he had analyzed the GDP, the exchange rate, and the economy of the country, it was very clear that the regime of Gulok Ibele Jonathan was far better than that of the present administration because the economy for now has been debased and therefore they feel so proud of him anywhere he goes to. Uh, they are saying that Gulok Ibele Jonathan is actually the pride of the country anywhere he goes to. And uh, Governor Emmanuel expressed great pleasure for the former president to have, uh, you know, come around for this pro uh, for the program and seize the opportunity to thank him and his wife, Patience Jonathan, for, uh, you know, coming around to uh, grace the event and stressed that given his acquaintance with the progress of Akwa Ibom since 1994, is in good position to judge development of the state. And also, good luck, Ebele Jonathan has actually commended the good works of the Akwa Ibom uh, governor, seeing that it is a well-deserved position and is very sure that uh, subsequent time he would be better placed for better position in the country and also charged him that uh, he should ensure that he has a good successor who would actually continue the great works that he has been doing in the state. Thanks for listening.